via the Team USA trials. Uh, special about Matt, he's missing a leg, guys. All right, he came out, competed with the top talent in the country, took first place, submitted a whole bunch of people. You know, uh, Matt, tell us about the tournament. Yeah, you know, I love this tournament up there with uh, Grappler's Quest. You know, this is definitely one of my favorite tournaments to do. Uh, because it has the reward at the end of the championships, you get to represent your country, and every athlete's dream should be to represent their country for something they do. You know, so I love this tournament, man. Matt, how long have you been training? Uh, I've been training since 2001. Um, I started fighting in 2006, like MMA. So. Oh, what's your MMA record? Uh, my pro record, unfortunately, is 0-2, and, and my amateur record is 4-1. 4-1. Still trying to get my pro win, but it's tough. Exactly. I fight nothing but tough guys because a lot of guys don't want to fight me. So. Well, Matt, the reason why I'm very inspired by your story is because I, I, I'm an instructor. I coach lots of guys. I, my students are watching this, and I always hear people come up with lots of excuses saying that they're too old, or they got a funny elbow, or a funny knee, or that their job is holding them back. You know, whether it be emotional, financial, or physical kind of a challenge, what message would you have to these people? Um, like, what I was taught um, when I was in school is basically where there's a will, there's a way. If you got a will to do something and you have that drive, um, there's nothing that can hold you back from doing that. Um, you might have to cut back the time that you spend doing your, your, your hobby so you can reach your goal. Um, due to like personal stuff, but um, there's always a way to train. I know everybody can train at least two days a week, okay? So that's where I feel. You know, if you want to train, you want to be a fighter, get in the gym one day a week, start there. You know? Hey, and Matt. That's what I can say to those people. Guys, like I said, I just saw this guy come out there. You know, when I, when I, when I saw him coming out, took off his prosthetic, I was like, oh my God, man, this guy's going to compete right now. And not only did he come out there and compete, you whooped everybody, man. How many submissions did you get today? I got two. Got two submissions, <laughs> all right? Submit, one by submission in the finals. Made a very good, awesome out there. And I'm uh, looking forward, man, to seeing you at the world. Thank you. Thank right, you, man. Thank you for the interview. Can't wait. Take care, guys. Our world team. Looking up straight, looking up straight. Ready? Three, two, one.